Hi everyone. Thank you for stopping by. Marriott Espresso Press here. Just checking my focus. Let me get seated. Welcome, welcome. Today we're going to hopefully create some old jewelry. These are some things I've been working on. I hope you don't mind the um, photo introduction. Um, I thought if you didn't want to head over to my blog to see my posts, gatherings, um, which is a feature I do from time to time where I just gather my inspiration pieces and um, complete my project and then see if I hit the mark or not. It has all kinds of things, usually cards, sometimes things made of fabric and this one in particular was inspired by wearable art. And these are a few of the things I made with it. A couple made with these. This is an ephemera project. Um, made this little mini bio folder. And I made this tag. So that's what we're going to be doing today what you'll need is your shapes. I used my die cuts because I don't have punches would be good but I used die cuts on my various shapes here. You'll need some embossing folders and you'll need some metallic paints acrylics and I am going to use this is I uh, use broken china to get the um, see if I have one here to get the patina so it looks like old jewelry after I did the acrylics Um, yeah, I think that's it. Today I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm still experimenting with this. So I have all these little um, card bases that are already embossed, but I want to see what it looks like with color. And then you'll need, um, Oh, it's probably way in the bottom. A little punch, little die cuts. I have a couple. I'm going to use a, the one I want is a leaf pattern. It's too hard. Um, there it is. I'm going to use this leaf pattern today, but I also have I also have a little heart um, because this is the part I didn't do very much yet because I kind of want to keep these um, unembellished and then work on them for the final project. But as you'll see in the inspiration pieces. They had all kinds of little things on top of the wearable art, like little clock faces, dragonflies, um, stuff like that. And I had to think about what kind of things I might use to do that part. So I thought of my little punches for one. 
and I do have some tiny leaf die cuts, but I didn't get around to cutting all those out yet. And um, I have a lot more experimenting to do with this. Um, some of these I'm going to put a frame around and stuff like that. So um, I want to build up this stash of ephemera. So I kind of got pre-started here because um, it's just easier. And I have the pieces already embossed. But what you're going to want to do is, I'm going to stand up here, is you're going to take your embossing folders kind of like this. Hopefully you can see the pattern. And you're going to look for the place, you're going to look for the place where you might get a nice focal image. So this one is great because obviously I have many choices. Um, this one would work because it has the flowers. Um, this one I use. Which one was it? It's this, these little bird houses. There. Because it had the little bird as a focal image. So you might as well, um, this one was nice, had the, has the letters, did that one. Uh, this one is just an all over pattern. This one has another little bird. So that's what I did. Um, I have more, but I didn't use them all. So I just used my first one. So as you can see, I got quite a few different patterns just from that one folder. So we're going to get messy. And pour out some paint here. Rag, get a cloth, handy. And I'm using copper, silver, metallics, all metallics. Thought I had a bronze, but must be out of it. This silver. So runny, I think something must be wrong with it. I just bought it, but I have um, Glorious Gold. I think I used that one first. piece of um, plain cardstock within reach here. And I have champagne. That worked pretty well too. <clears throat> if I can get it out. Some of them are Really thick. 
somewhere like water. Okay. That champagne isn't very old either. Um, talk amongst yourselves. I'm checking in here to see if I have a nice color cardstock piece. And I don't, so let me go to my drawer a second. Sorry. Sorry, I just wanted a nice darker orange to use as an embellishment. Um, choose that one. Okay, so I'll do the um, first ones I did were on craft paper. Much time. And you're just going to put this here so you can see. Just going to stick your finger in there, dab it off, clean it off, and then rub over the gold. Gold you're not going to see too much until you get the other colors on. Then I did the copper, and I think the key is that I used the three different metallics. Over the same piece. That way it looked ruined that too much because this is so runny this one let me go back over that with my gold a little bit put one in the copper there we go it's starting to look old. So can you see that? Just using the three on the same piece. I'm gonna let that dry. Now this one is the gray cardstock. I'm gonna start with the gold again. Just want to skim over the top as best you can, but it doesn't matter. I mean, <laughs> the whole thing can have a patina, and I know there's an ink. Maybe it's even called patina. Tim Holtz ink that will put the perfect finish on there, but I don't have it. Then I'll do the copper. Hopefully you see everything there. Then Silver. And if you do the silver and gold more than once, it starts to look more real. And then another thing I did, get my finger. 
favorite clay here. Um, this one kind of like has an edge. Took my finger. Just kind of do that along the side until I got like a little blob. I also do that with a paper brush and my glitter glue. At Christmas time, when I want to make something look like it's edged with ice. So that's how I got that edge. <coughs> and then <clears throat> that one might take a little while longer to dry. But this one is looking nice already. Now I'll do the black pull first. So this is this is more experimenting. I also want to do some in um, plain cardstock because the effect I want to try to get is like. Um, Oh no, don't do that. The effect I want to try to get is like um, when you have enamel. And usually I didn't go over the whole thing like that. <laughs> I just did parts in different color. The more you begin to rub with your finger, the older it looks. And then I'm wiping my finger off between each color. So I don't want um, here, that one. It's kind of perfect because it's kind of like half and half. edge that one because I don't think I'll be able to put the patina the um, blue broken china on top so I'm going to try this because I want to see what it looks like when I um, have different colors in the background it might not show up at all the one on the tag was a um, sepia paper, or you know, a vintage paper with a um, black and grave engraving type drawing on it. And I thought the drawing might show through a lot more than it did, but it didn't. So it still turned out nice, and I still used it, but it wasn't the effect I hoped to achieve. Like I said, this one was already embossed. I don't know how much the colors are actually going to end up showing through because acrylic is opaque, but 
when you see the art pieces, I have, I think, four photos at least. similar to using the embossing folders to find a focal image. My feeling was um, might as well try to find something that does half the work for you. <laughs> half the design for you rather than try to look for all those little ephemera all those little embellishments that you have to glue on top, like these little flowers. So there's one, two, three, there's four. That's pretty much how I did them. I know that's I know that one's gonna take a little bit to dry. So let me get the blue on there. Hope you're all doing well. I'm still um, in computer hell. I told my husband. I want to go back, and I thought he would do it this morning, but he didn't. I'm going to do it on this one because it's most likely to show up the best. So this is the heart. I gave the patina. And if you had that other Tim Holtz color. Is it Verdigris or I'm not sure which one it is, but I know you would get I mean that's fine. That's that looks old to me. But I know he has another color that would be perfect. And I'm sure there's more than one way to do this. Sometimes it actually shows up a lot better on the silver than it does there. That looks old. I'm not sure if these are dry yet. Get my um, examples here. while I wait for that to dry for a minute. So this is the one that I um, had the image in the background. It didn't, didn't turn out exactly as I hoped, but I still think it's pretty. And then I just mimicked um, their on a fabric chain, so to speak. So I just kind of mimicked that up the side of the tag and then this was also one of my favorite ones they also put buttons on there and all different kinds of things um you can put little charms um, but i want to keep them relatively flat so i'm not going to be adding any actual metal or anything like that my goal was to translate the entire thing into paper. Let me see if this is dry yet. This one is. So yes, I'm still in how much time? Three minutes if I have to click off and restart. So if I go silent, what's that called? When you're on a submarine <laughs> and you disappear from radar, 
that's nice. That looks old. It's like an old penny, kind of. Did you ever get a penny that kind of turned greenish blue on you? That's what that reminds me of. So, probably I can wipe that little blob off. Because I don't want to mix ink and paint. Gonna be standing up here and hitting record again. Okay, I'm gonna go where I'm sure it's dry. <laughs> Don't want to get paint on my ink pad. Sold. Okay. Okay, that was just the basics, and now I'm just going to do a little bit of decorating. But I think I'm going to hit record again, and then I'm probably going to have to refocus. So bear with me. Yeah, I'm back to ground zero. I'm back. Back to ground zero. With the video. Probably going to have to look for another camera unless I keep using this one and I don't I don't like having to keep hitting record. I don't like that it um, when usually when I hit record it zooms in and on it zooms in I have it on single focus. So I'm just punching a little couple of little leaves here. I have it on single focus. And what I thought I might do is just tinge. of these. <laughs> it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard to just get the edges. So it also looks like metal, but in the end I don't know if that's... it might look better. Just leave them solid as a decoration. And if you go there, you'll see they also also have some little tiny, tiny, tiny book page words here that you can put on there. They did that. So I've just kind of been looking for embellishments. Like I said, I do have some tiny Tim Holtz <coughs> leaf dies. I think I have some tiny clocks I can cut out. Um, could crochet some tiny gold thread, <laughs> make a chain, drape that across there. That would be nice, maybe. But in the meantime, I was just thinking of demonstrating to you how 
want to embellish them to make them look more like the art pieces. Take, I was going to use this, but I think it's too big. And of course you can make these as big as you want for cover. Might make a nice frame. That's what that's what I'm going to do next. Another one is I have the smaller shapes and I'm going to make a to the frame and then the inside might just be silver like uh, like these are pretty much either they look more silver or gold than I didn't put any copper in these so it would be like this would be the inside and then the frame will be a different metallic So yes, I, I'm still, it's been a nightmare. I still haven't finished my latest product. I have three sheets left to do. Three sheets and um, hopefully he'll be sending me back to the Stone Age. Of 2018 tomorrow. Thank God I have him. That's all I can say. But what I found out, it likely wasn't me at all. It likely wasn't the cam. Likely wasn't the camera, the computer, the software. It was that YouTube and who else, you know, all the platforms, whatever. They prefer a different video file format. And how I found that out is when I updated everything and then went to and then the video editing software wouldn't recognize the film at all, wouldn't recognize the video at all. So then I decided to do a search for the actual camera model, see if anyone else was having problems. And sure enough, I'm going to put a little more copper on that one. Sure enough, they were. So, I have to look for a new camera, I guess, which I started. It's really, I don't know. I said I didn't have to be Spielberg, but I do want to make nice videos that are clear and bright and easy to see and represent, most of all, represent color properly. You know, because that really bothers me when things don't look like they do in real life and and this one you can tell the difference even in this one between the video quality and the camera quality because it's a Nikon and the camera quality is 10 times better than the video quality so there's a major disparity in the colors just between the video and the camera when it comes to this but I, you know, I do want to get better. I want to be Martha Stewart minus the jail time. 
No, that's actually not true. I don't want to be Martha Stewart. <laughs> but I, you know, if people are coming here and spending their time, you don't want to waste their time with a crappy video. That's how I look at it. And um, so again, I hope you don't mind that I added the photos, but I thought if you didn't want to leave to see the blog piece, then um, you're going to have an idea of how these feature posts work. That it's called gatherings, and I gather my inspiration. I try to translate it to paper, and um, or whatever. In this case, like on my Pinterest board, I have tons of things that actually aren't paper, but I um, I always think. I want to translate that to paper. Some of the some of the posts actually are paper, and then I just see how well I was able to pull off the style or whatever. So I really, really, really love these. I know this is going to be ephemera that I am going to use for a lot of things. This one, I just, I love that little bird. I love birds. Um, actually, this one I did think I, I tried. This is one I did try to um, flowers just down the side. Um, this is the other little bird. I love that one too. This one is the letters. I also have an embossing folder with a script. And um, actually I use I use the two on the project with the all over pattern. So I'm gonna work more on these this week and um, do my other ideas, see how they turn out. Like I said, I want to try it. I don't think this is this isn't actually what I thought it would be, but I want to try it on this, and then I don't know. I might gloss, gloss this, and then emboss. Or no, that reminds me. You emboss after you cut the die cut, unless you have a punch, then you can um, die cut first and then punch. But if you emboss and then die cut, you're going to flatten your image and you don't want that. So I'm going to gloss at some point, I don't know, and then emboss and then go over it and see if it looks like an enamel with a filigree on top. And I also have some more ideas for different types of jewelry pieces and the, those will be coming up in the future if they turn out, you know, everything's an experiment. If they turn out, they'll be coming in the future. So I hope you give this a try. I really, really, I know I'll use these a lot. I know I can make them bigger. Um, they will look good on a Christmas card. <laughs> they will look good on covers. They will look good on pockets. Um, and I kind of think they're just perfect for this love letters. Um, paper because you know some of them kind of look like a locket and you know men often buy jewelry for their loves so well, it kind of all went perfect and I'm glad I have a new type of ephemera to keep in my stash because I like to make my own 
as much as I can instead of buying it because number one it's more personal and it's more original and um, I just like to do it. Okay, thanks for your time everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.